Willem, you caught up with the country's interior minister and the head of the right-wing league party, Matteo Salvini. What were some of the key takeaways? Well, he was down here in the southeast of the country, in the port city of Bari, last night. It was one of his final campaign stops. This is a party that hails from the far north of Italy. And for many years, the Lega party was known as the Northern League because they were very critical of the rest of Italy. They wanted to separate from Italy. It's only in the last few years their message has really changed to focus on the entire country. And to win seats down here in the far southeast is very surprising to some of their critics and opponents. But Mr. Salvini, he was well received by hundreds of supporters in the city centre last night. We had a chance to catch up with him and ask him over the course of this campaign whether the criticism he's faced from his political opponents and indeed those inside his own coalition government means that there could be permanent damage to that coalition if his own party does well during these European elections. Take a listen to his answer. We go on. This vote is about Europe, to change Europe, to change banks, agriculture, borders. Nothing is going to change within the Italian government. I just hope that after the election, our relationship with the Five Star Movement will be less confrontational. But even if I win, we won't ask for more ministers. We are not going to change anything. You wouldn't try to change the contract between your two parties? There are too many things to do, like the fiscal reform, the education reform and the justice reform. I go on, nothing is going to change. So after last year's inconclusive national Italian elections, the Lega Party and the Five Star Movement spent months debating their platforms, their ministerial appointments. They eventually came up with what was known as a governing contract. And that's what he's referring to there the chances of there being any changes to that agreement between the two parties in coalition that, of course, makes investors and businesses very nervous. Now, members of his own party, including one candidate for the European parliamentary elections, she said that she would wait to see whether there was a change in the power dynamic between the two parties after this election, so she wouldn't commit to any changes. In terms of the political analysts I've been talking to over the last 24 hours or so, they've said, yes, we do expect that Salvini will try to use the forward momentum from these polls if his party does as well as expected to potentially try and gain more leverage over the government itself and as deputy prime minister he's well placed to try and turn that into action so far from the Lega we've not seen many of their major campaign promises delivered on but that could of course change after these elections. Hey everybody it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen and don't forget to subscribe.